What's going on everybody? Today we're looking at the 2019 Toyota Corolla XSE hatchback in the best color ever painted on a car, Blue Flame. Toyota has come a long way since the Corolla's debut in 1966, but for the better part of the last two decades, styling wasn't high on their priority list. Let's be real. But 2019 changed all of that when the CEO of Toyota said, enough is enough, stop making boring cars. And now, Toyota has some of the dopest looking cars on the road. The new Corolla got a major facelift and is now a little bit wider, a little bit lower, and a lot of bit hotter. I've been asked, what kind of car is that? By more people than I can count, and every single one of them does a double take when I say it's a Corolla. That's usually followed up by, it's so blue, which it is, very blue. The new blue flame paint color is absolute fire. It makes everything look way more aggressive. From the SHORP LED headlights to the sweet AF rear wing and all the curves in between, there isn't a single angle where this car doesn't look to die for. Let's just say you're not going to lose your Corolla in a parking garage. It kind of stands out. But don't worry, the new Corolla isn't all show and no go. The Corolla has gone from a 1.8 four-cylinder engine to a two-liter, making more power that sits lower in the engine bay for a better center of gravity. To get all 168 clippy clops to the pavement, the Corolla has the option of a six-speed manual with rev matching or an all-new CVT complete with paddle shifters and a launch gear. And both of those come with sport mode and are a blast when you're ripping through the twisties. Now we're not gonna get bogged down with zero to 60 times or top speed, cause that's not what the Corolla is about. It's all about cruising around in comfort when you're driving to work, but then cut up curvy back roads like a hot knife through butter. This is thanks to the re-engineered suspension. It doesn't break your friggin' spine like other hot hatchbacks, but it'll corner pretty ding-dang flat when you get a little spirited with your right foot. Ease off the throttle though, and it's quiet, comfortable, and civilized. But if you wanna modify your car, you can since more parts are coming out for the Corolla on the regular. And the inside is a pleasant, well-equipped place to be. The visibility and driving position are great. It's insanely comfortable for a Corolla with plenty of bolstering in the seats to keep your butt planted and toasty, since the XSE has seat warmers. The preferred package comes with wireless charging, satellite navigation, Apple CarPlay, sorry, no Android Auto, dual climate control, and an 800 watt JBL audio system that friggin' bumps. I love the look and layout of the dash, and its startup sequence is a pretty dope. One quick note, the Corolla will likely come from the dealer with the digital speedo readout. You'll want to change that to the analog look ASAP, because it just looks better. The back seat, while it isn't exactly a Maybach in terms of space, has plenty of leg room, and the rear hatch has more than enough space to fit your bags for a weekend road trip, which the Corolla is awesome for. One of the standout features of the Corolla, aside from the blue flame paint, mind you, is that Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 comes as standard. Adaptive radar cruise control is a game changer. The lane keep assist, pedestrian sensors, blind spot monitoring, automatic brake, safety lighting, backup cameras, and rear cross traffic alerts make you feel confident and safe whether you're out on the road or in a crowded parking lot. This is one of the biggest reasons why I love Toyota, and is one of the many reasons why I bought this car. That's right, this one's mine. Before I bought the car, I drove an all-wheel drive Mazda 3, and while it looks great and is fun to drive, the interior is dark, cramped, and claustrophobic, thanks to those thick boy C-pillars, and cost nearly four grand more. That's a nope. That's a no-go for sure. 
I also drove the Subaru Impreza Sport, and while I will be the first to admit that I am 100% an Impreza fanboy, it kind of pissed me off that Subaru felt that their safety features shouldn't come standard and bundled it in a $3,000 upgrade package. I am not okay with car manufacturers charging me extra just to be safe. The Corolla is insane value for money. Pricing for the base model, the SE, starts at just over $21,000 and goes up to about $27,000 with optional extras on the XSE, like mine. At the end of the day, this car is friggin' beautiful. Drives and handles like a dream, all while being safe, comfy, cozy, and affordable. And that's why this Corolla is my Corolla.